Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Thank you for being with me today. I just came in from being with my son and his family out in a little eating spree. Built me up a fire. And I sat down on the couch and I said, wait, I need to prepare something for Thoughts Roundup. I said, well, why don't I just grab the Bible, open it up, and whatever scripture I see, I'll just read it. And so that's exactly what I have done. And I'm ready. I'm ready to read it. And let's just see if we get what we get out of it. I've heard people doing this often. <laughs> I've heard people claiming their everything on it, but uh, I don't do that. But I thought it'd be nice to just open it up and see. And so Nahum, the first chapter, and the seventh verse, it says, the Lord is good. Now, folks, it don't get much better than that. What if he was half good? What if he was just good some of the time? What if it meant that he really, you could trust him just every once in a while? The Lord is good. See, that's it right there. Now just hold, hold it in your mind. The Lord is good. Can I use this? Yes, it's good. Okay, if it's good, I'll use it. Is it good for that? Yes, it's good. It's good. So you, that's, that's the way it is. The Lord is good. He's good in the morning. He's good at night. He's good in time of trouble. He's good in time of need. God is good. A stronghold. In the day of trouble. Ah, that's powerful. If you don't look at it just like another scripture, just to add to your scriptures to, of, of reading. But the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Isn't that what we need? When we're in trouble, we need a stronghold. We need a fortress. We need protection. We, we need, when we're in trouble, we ask somebody to help us. And so we ask God to help us. He's, he's a stronghold in a day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. He, in other words, he knows who trusts in him and he knows who does not. You say, well, the Lord, I asked the Lord and he didn't answer and he didn't help me. Maybe we didn't ask him with the right kind of a heart. Maybe we didn't ask him in faith Faith believing. Yes. And he knoweth. In other words, he knows if you're sincere or not. He knows what you are thinking. He knows what you're planning and I'm planning if he does it. He knows we may not be planning. We might just want a handout. He knoweth them that trust. Oh, man. I trust this or I trust that. 
I, I, I can stand on that over the water because I know it'll hold me up. I trust in certain things. We trust in certain things. He knoweth them that trust in him. And just a little simple scripture. Just like the boy drew the bow adventure, I just opened the Bible. And there it was. And there's things like, scriptures like that, that feeds us all day long or every time we read the Bible. If we'll put our minds to it, we can't read thinking of something else. We can't read thinking of what we're going to do as soon as we get through with our scripture reading. God knows them that put their trust in him. What would happen if I studied out a verse? What would happen to us if we put our, we run reference, we stopped and prayed over it? Each line, maybe stopped and prayed over certain words. What would happen? I'll tell you what would happen. The Word of God comes alive. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your sacred and holy Word. You're so good to us. I love you, Jesus. I love you. Thank you.